Moving on, lawyers representing Pastor Ezekiel Odero now claim that there is an attempt to have him tried at the International Criminal Court. The lawyers allege that the state has gone further to link Ezekiel to controversial Malindi-based preacher Paul McKenzie, in whose 800-acre farm is currently at the heart of an ongoing criminal investigation. The lawyers claim that Ezekiel is a target of religious jealousy and witch hunt. Prayer Center and Church in Cliffy County. Faithful are gathered to hear the word. Some are here for healing. Like this elderly man whose family has sought divine intervention for his affliction. Many of the congregants are drawn from the area and the neighboring counties. Others have traveled from as far as Australia. Pastor Ezekiel Odero is a true servant of God. He's an anointed man of God, sent by God for the whole world, not only for the East African people. So, and all I want to say is, let the government, individuals, pastors, the clergymen, everyone give our total support. But the man of the moment is a besieged cleric. Ezekiel Odero is facing what his followers and lawyers describe as an evil propagated by the state and his jealous religious peers. It is a religious witch hunt, it is political witch hunt, it is people who are planning on how they will take Pastor Ezekiel to be jailed in uh, the ICC court. For Ezekiel's followers like Dorka Sonjala, the New Life Prayer Center and Church is a sanctuary a place of healing. Mimi nilikuja hapa na mama mzazi, alikuwa hajiwezi kabisa, alikuwa paralyzed. Kampuni tatu za magari silitukataa, sikisema hatuwezi tukabeba maiti. Lakini Mungu akatujalia tukapata gari moja. Tukafika Mombasa. Vile tulifika Mombasa, gari moja likachitokezea wakasema mnaenda new life tukasema ndio basi star yetu imerudi mtapona tumekuwa tumefuata pastor Ezekiel for for a long time na huko pia kuna makanisa lakini ile kitu ako nayo hakuna huko Ezekiel Odero and his lawyers are accusing the state of scheming to drag him to the international criminal court we have seen people have been intense all their lives for years and they have been preaching to us but do you see any impact? It's a question we need to ask because we are being told about commissions and they are going to come round and going to regulate churches. But we are going to ask them, by which standards? Whose standards? Because if this church is not a standard, then there is no standard. The lawyers allege that their client is the victim of a witch hunt emanating from his entrepreneurial exploits and the magnitude of his flock. For lunchtime news, I'm Alvin Kounder.